I want to show you how to draw Newman projections of the different conformations of ethane, and I want to talk about the different stabilities and potential energies of the conformations. Let's take a closer look at this molecule. We have two black carbons and six yellow hydrogens. Now, single bonds can rotate, so there are a lot of different possible arrangements of this molecule. These arrangements are called conformations. These different conformations have energy levels and stabilities associated with them. I have a video about the difference between conformations and isomers if you want to be sure that you understand the terminology. An easy way to see these different conformations is to rotate this molecule and line up the two carbons in this carbon-carbon bond that was rotating. Let's just focus on this particular carbon-carbon single bond. You can refer to this bond as a sigma bond. From this orientation, you can more clearly see when the hydrogens are aligning this is called an eclipsed conformation, and when they are staggered, this is a staggered conformation. You can also clearly see anything in between. This is the orientation in which Newman projections are drawn. There are a lot of different methods for drawing molecules, and Newman projections are used when you want to very clearly show the conformation around a particular bond. So in this molecule, we are concentrating on this carbon-carbon bond. I am always going to need to rotate the molecule so that our bond of interest is in our line of sight. We are going to represent the carbon in the front as a dot. We're going to represent the carbon in the back as a circle. Now, carbons like to have a total of four bonds. One of those bonds on each of these carbons is the bond between them. So I need to draw the other three bonds on each of these carbons. The carbon in the front has three hydrogens. In this particular orientation and this conformation, one of the hydrogens is down, one is up and to the left, one is up and to the right. Notice that I drew these bonds from that dot in the center that was representing the front carbon. The carbon in the back also has three hydrogens on it. I need to draw these a little bit differently. I want to very clearly show that these bonds are from the back carbon, so I need to draw them from the outside of this circle. But we have a hydrogen going up, hydrogen down into the left, and a hydrogen down into the right. This particular conformation is called a staggered conformation. Yes, I spelled this correctly. This is conformation with an O, not confirmation with an I. Both words exist in English. Confirmation is more common. This is more common in chemistry. But I now want to rotate this carbon-carbon bond by 60 degrees. In doing so, the hydrogens are all aligned. Let's draw a Newman projection for this conformation. Same procedure. Carbon in the front is a dot. Carbon in the back is a circle. This carbon in the front, I need to draw the three hydrogens. One is down, one is up and to the left, one is up and to the right. Now, we need to draw the three hydrogens for this carbon in the back. But this is difficult. When I align these two carbons along my line of sight, Hydrogens are eclipsing each other. It is difficult to see those hydrogens that are on the back carbon. I need to draw these still bonded to this circle, the carbon in the back, but I need to draw them as close as I possibly can to the hydrogens in the front. This is called an eclipsed conformation. Now, I told you earlier that the different conformations have different stabilities and different potential energies associated with them. Let me tell you what I was talking about. These hydrogens, the outermost part of these atoms, is where the electrons are orbiting. Electrons repulse each other. These hydrogens do not want to be near each other. It is easiest for them to exist in this staggered conformation. In the staggered conformation, these hydrogens are as far apart from each other as they possibly can be. So this is going to be lower potential energy and more stable conformation. 
Now, in the eclipsed conformation, these hydrogens are now as close to each other as they can possibly be. This makes them unhappy. This requires more energy for a molecule to exist in this conformation. So this is going to be higher potential energy and less stable. In reality, at room temperature, this bond is rotating millions of times a second. It is not going to be possible to separate these two conformations because they are the same molecule. But it is going to spend the vast majority of its time in this more stable, staggered conformation. Think of molecules as being lazy. They don't want to have to put energy into existing. They want to be in whatever state is easiest to be in. So that would be this lower potential energy, more stable conformation. So I've given you the two extremes of eclipsed versus staggered conformations. In other words, least stable, highest energy versus most stable, lowest energy. But in reality, this carbon-carbon bond can be at any angle. So what I want to do is plot the potential energy at each and every one of these angles. So I have replaced one yellow hydrogen on each carbon with a red hydrogen. This is not intended to be any sort of chemical change. These are all still hydrogens. I just want a marker so we can talk about how far this has been rotated. As in zero degrees, two red hydrogens are eclipsed. I'm going to be drawing a series of Newman projections, each one rotated 60 degrees from the previous until we get back to the beginning with zero and 360 degree rotations both being the same, two red hydrogens aligned. Then I want to show you what a potential energy diagram would look like so that you can get an idea of potential energy for any of the conformations between eclipsed and staggered. So let's talk about what this potential energy diagram would look like. All of the eclipsed conformations meaning 0 degrees, 120 degrees, 240 degrees, and then back to the beginning, 360 degrees. These are all less stable and higher energy. So you are going to see them all having the same potential energy, and it is going to be something higher. All of the eclipsed conformations, as in 60 degrees, 180 degrees, and 300 degrees, these are going to be more stable and have lower energy. They're all going to have the same energy as each other, but they're all going to be something lower. So what about all of these conformations in between? This is just going to be a smooth plot that transitions between them. It's going to look something like this. In my next video, I'm going to be drawing Newman projections for butane. This is an alkane with four carbons. Because I want to use a more complicated molecule to start introducing terminology like anti, gauche, and dihedral angle. Thanks for watching Chemistry in a Nutshell. If you feel that I've earned it, please like this video and subscribe to my channel.